I'm going to play solitaire for Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi. For the longest time I mispronounced it. I called it Reach. Although I think a lot of Americans probably think it is Reach. And I know there's a website for Reach Mahjong, R-E-A-C-H. And maybe that was their shtick, I don't know. But I've been corrected and it is actually Reachy. Reachy Mahjong. I play solitaire because it gives me an opportunity to play four hands at one time in a solitaire format. I have to force myself to play as if I don't know what is in the other player's hands. So it can be a little bit of a challenge. I just put blinders on. And I find it's helpful if you have a set at home and you want to improve your game, try playing solitaire. Let me know if it helps your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to these risers. I'm going to deal the tiles. East will get 14 tiles. South, West, and North will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles, so I am going to look and see what East has. Oh, I forgot the con wall. Let's flip Dora. Two crack is Dora. Let's see what East has. No, Dora. All right. So we're going to say it's East round. And we have a pair of East for East. So I would say pwn that. Pwn that. And we have only one other pair. We have five cracks, four dots, three bams. So what I'm thinking is a single Yaku. I think this is called Yaku High. Let me see. Pone of own or prevailing wind, Fan Pai or uh, Yaku High. So I'm assuming that if it's your seat wind, it's Fan Pai. And if it is the prevailing win, it's Yakuhai. So if you play this, let me know if I'm right. In this case, it would be both because if it's the East round and this is East, they would get two Han for that. Okay, so yeah, that's what I would do. And no holds barred, I would just Chi and Pwn. Although we have a Chi right there, seven, eight, nine, Six, seven, eight is a chi. Here's a potential chi. One, two, three, four. We need one more chi in here somewhere. Okay, so they have a little work to do, which is no surprise. It's very rare that your hand is set from the beginning, although I have seen people reach after one discard. Crazy. All right, let's see what we can do for south. They have Dora. Their seat two, which is south, this pair is not going to bring them value. So if we play Pinfu, which is all three in a sequence, we can actually use that. We also have two other pair. So I'm going to keep my eyes on pairs, but I definitely want to work in Dora. So let's see what happens there. I think if I were to pick the first discard here, probably I want to use this Dora tile 
Maybe we should play Pin Fu and get rid of the South. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do for West. Akadora, Red 5. One honor, two pair, chi potential. That's pair or chi potential. Probably I would play pin foo here too. Okay, let's see what we can do for north. Lots of dots. They do have lots of dots, but if we were to play Honitsu, which is a half flush, we would have to get rid of five discards, including a pair. I'm kind of thinking we should probably play Pinfu here too. Look at all those number tiles. There's a lot of flexibility with number tiles. Let's just look at Chi Potential. So that's a pair, Potential Chi. There's Potential Chi right in here. Let's say those are isolated and here's a potential chi. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got work to do. We need another potential chi in here. Something maybe to break up one of these pairs. All right, we're going to get started now by discarding for east. So here we're going to go for a pone of the seat wind. There's chi potential there, that's isolated. There's a chi right there, isolated, isolated. Here's a potential chi. So we have one, two, three, four. We need, we need some help in here. So since this is self-contained, this is so far from seven, we only have two BAMs. Let's go ahead and discard the six BAM. Okay, here we go. We're going to draw for south. Everybody's playing a concealed hand. Pinfu is concealed. So everybody has to draw well. North. Okay, they have way too many numbered tiles, I think, to give up on Pinfu. Unless we do all pwn. Let's keep the south and give up the north. Because if we pair up that south, that's their seat wind. That would be, I believe, Yakuhai is what it would be called. Let's draw for west. Two crack. They just drew Dora. So that is isolated, though. We got work to do on that. Let's get rid of the east. And it would be north's turn, but we're going to pwn it. Pwn. East pwned east. Now, let's look. Chi potential there, isolated. Chi isolated. Let's, let's go ahead and get rid of this four crack right now because it, it is a surrounding tile for Dora. And I don't want to be holding on to that until later in the game and throw into someone getting that and being able to use it with Dora. Since we don't have it in our hand, I'm just gonna get, get offload it right away. I don't know if that's good strategy or not, but that's just what I felt like I needed to do. So at this point, let's draw for south. Now this, they're playing Pin Fu. No, 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 we were thinking about playing All Pwn, but that four crack would make a Chi. And you don't wanna mix all pwn and chi in this shape here, that would wreck their score. They would have no yaku at all. So let's draw south. Okay, that that's good because that's their seat. So we have pair, 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 pair. These are all potential pwns. I'm thinking we're going to play all pwn. So let's go ahead and discard. We can still maybe work in Dora. As a, as a pair maybe, or a pwn, who knows? I mean, we have one, we have a long way to go there, but I think I'll hold it. Let's go ahead and get rid of the two bam. 
and we can now draw for west. 3 bam. Okay, potential chi, potential chi, potential there, 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 all around except Dora. Oh, no, no, these are, I no, 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 yeah, this is isolated. Let's get rid of the nine dot. And now we can draw for north. Okay, hold on. If we play Hon Itsu, we have a potential chi here, potential chi here or here. We could pwn that nine, but we would only be left with two more blocks to work with. I think we're better off. We have one extra chi potential. One, two, three, four. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and commit to Pinfu. Okay, we'll keep number tiles because that's going to give us some flexibility maybe. Let's get rid of the red dragon. And we'll draw for east. Green dragon. We have a pone of east and we're looking to do anything we can. We're just going for a win here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the three dot. Maybe we'll pair up the green dragon and try to get another Yaku out of that. Any pwn of a dragon is a Yaku and a Han, which can help with score. So let's now look at south. They do have a three, but we're trying for all pwn here and that's a single tile, you can't act on that. So we're gonna draw. One crack, not helpful. Now we have a chi. We have a chi and a bunch of pairs. That's not helpful. Let's get rid of this four bam. So now we're going to draw four west. Again, this is concealed, so we cannot claim that for a chi. The only way we would be able to claim that is if we get rid of all these terminals and play something called Tanyao, which is all two through eight. But that would take out a pair, and I'm hoping to use that yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. I think I'm going to wait. I'm not going to take that. Let's draw north. We'll discard that. And draw four north. Five crack. Okay, well that filled in a little bit. There's a potential chi or here, one or the other. These are isolated. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Three, bam. And we can draw four east. They drew a west. Let's go ahead. Well, we have chi potential, chi potential, chi. Here's a chi right there. Let's get rid of the west. We're going to make it easy and try to go for a win in six discards. Let's draw now for south. They're actually going to pwn it. And now we're going to discard. Let's, let's just get rid of the three dot and draw for west. Nine crack. Oh, they have a pwn. Or now we can take that pwn and use that nine with the eight for a potential chi. Isolated Dora tile. Here's a pair or a potential chi here, potential chi there, there and there. I want to use Akadora. I'm kind of thinking we should probably get rid of the six dot because we have chi potential here. This two crack might have to go if we don't get a tile to use around it. These are all potential chis. The challenge here is they're all weak weights. This one is called an edge weight where we're waiting on a seven crack. Uh, this actually is a side weight. This is the only strong weight because we're waiting on a four dot or a seven dot to complete that. This is an edge weight because we're waiting on the three. This is an edge weight. We're waiting on the seven and this is a closed weight where we're waiting on the tile in the middle. So yeah, they have, they have work to do. So let's now draw four north. Five bam. Side weight, edge weight, closed weight, isolated, 
Either way, we have a closed weight with this, 3, 5, 5, 7. Edge, closed. Here's a side weight right there and a pair. Got to have a pair. Let's make that side weight there and let's go ahead and discard the seven crack. Okay, now we're going to draw for east. Now that seven crack, we could chi that and we'll still be left with a potential chi with a side weight. Let's go ahead and chi that. There's a chi. Okay, now let's get rid of the green dragon. A single dragon is not going to help in their particular set of tiles. We need a pair in here now. Let's draw for south. Six bam. That's not helpful. Let's discard. Six bam. And we're going to draw for west. Two bam. Potential chi. That's a side weight. So that's stronger than a closed weight. So I would play that. This is still isolated. Let's go ahead and discard the five bam. Maybe we'll draw something to help us use that tile because that will bring extra score. Let's draw now for north. Eight bam. Okay, this is, this is a side weight. That's a good weight. This would be a closed weight and it would be a weaker weight. So I think we should go ahead and just discard that eight bam. Now we have gone through the second wall. We're heading into the third wall and we have had, let's see here, six, everyone's had six discards at this point, I believe. All right, here we go. We're going to draw for east. Seven dot. Okay, we did need, we do need a pair in here. So if we discard those, we have two cheese right here and they're both side weights. So that would mean actually breaking up a chi here. Here's a chi. So let's see, is it better to break that up and have two remaining there are none out. There's one four bam actually. Otherwise, it's all free and clear here. And either way, we're still one away from being ready. So if we keep that as a chi, actually, let's see. Potential chi, potential chi, chi. We still need a pair. We got to have a pair. I'm going with the pair. All right. So let's discard the six dot. Okay, I hope that was a good thing to do. Seems right to me. All right, so they have one more discard. Let's draw for south. Eight bam. That's not helpful. We're looking for pairs. Let's, let's discard the eight bam. And we're going to draw for west. Four dot. That's a good tile. Now they have a chi. Pair, potential, isolated, chi, potential chi, potential chi, potential chi. So let's discard this eight bam and then we'll get rid of the nine bam next. They have one, two, three, four, five. Four sets and a pair. One, two, three, four sets and a pair. So they're, they're set. They just need to complete. So let's draw now for north. White dragon can't have any valued pair. And they're, they're playing all cheese, all three in a sequence. Pinfu. Let's draw for east. Two crack. That's going to mess everything up. We're discarding it. That's Dora, which is unfortunate. But at this stage, I'm not going to mess with it. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Five bam, we'll discard that. Let's draw four west. 
north, discard. Drawing for north, green dragon, that's been thrown. And that could bring score, so we gotta get rid of it. We're gonna draw for east. Seven crack, oh shoot. There's another pair. Okay, let's just stick with it. Actually, let's, let's keep it and get rid of the eight dot. Who knows? I mean, that is the crack suit. I mean, they still have a long way to go. Let's draw. Four bam, we'll discard that. Drawing four west, one bam, there's a cheat. Isolated, isolated, the two crack was thrown. Let's discard it. And we have one discard. We need a seven crack and a three dot. Seven crack or three dot will make them ready. Let's draw four north. One bam, that's not helpful. So there are two two cracks out. We don't need this one bam, it's isolated. So we're gonna draw now, oh, let's chi. Chi, and now we'll discard seven crack. So they're ready on a six crack or a nine crack. Let's draw four south. Five crack, and that is Akadora. S but it's single, not helpful. We want a pwn. Maybe we could pair that up. Let's get rid of the six crack. And now we can draw four west. Four crack, discard. Drawing four north. Five crack. That's a, that's a pair. Pair. Potential chi. Potential chi. Pair. Potential chi. Let's get rid of the one crack. There are two two cracks out. So the chances of them getting a one, two, three are pretty slim. Let's draw four east. Seven dot. Can't. Oh, you know what? Nope, they're not ready. We have a pone of east, two cheese and two suits. Either way, we're gonna need another tile. So I think having a side weight is good. Let's discard the seven dot. That way we're still waiting on two different tiles instead of one. Because if I had kept that, we would have had to make a choice and then they would be waiting on one tile. This way we're waiting on two. So let's draw four south. White dragon. And now we're gonna draw four west. Seven bam. Okay, there's a potential there. So let's just take a peek at what's out. There are two three dots out. There are three eight bams out. Let's get rid of this seven bam. Plus the eight bam was in their discard pile. They would be Feudetin. We don't want that. Let's draw for north. Red dragon, discard. Drawing for east, south. We'll discard that and we'll pwn it. And now let's discard this two crack. We're drawing four west. Three crack, discard. We're gonna draw for north. Now they do have three pair, but at this stage of the game, switching from Pinfu to All Pwn, which is all three of a kind, also called Toy Toy, I think it's too late in the game. I think we should stick with Pinfu. White Dragon. Oh, okay, we're drawing for East. Five crack. 
So this is a potential chi here, but it's a closed weight. We would be waiting on a six. This way, we're waiting on a six or a nine. Let's discard the five crack. And nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw two dot. We need pones, so we're gonna discard that two dot. Let's look up here now. We're going to draw one bam. We already have a pair. That's not gonna be helpful. There's a chi though. This is isolated. Let's get rid of this nine bam. Although there are none out. There are no one bams out either. These are both risky tiles. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. We still need cheese, so we need to keep this. We need the three dot here. Let's go ahead and discard the nine bam. There's a lot of bams out, and including eights and sevens, so, or especially the eights. Let's, we're just gonna risk it and throw it. And now we're gonna pwn it for south. Let's see, that would be like so. Okay, now we're gonna discard this one crack. They still need a pair in here. We could pwn and then maybe let that be the pair. So let's draw four west, four crack. Drawing for north, five dot. Well, that was a good tile. Wow, we're kind of zeroing in on a pure straight. We need a three dot and an eight dot and we could have a pure straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pair of fives. Let's get rid of this three crack. And maybe we could make it work. It's kind of late in the game, but we'll see. Three crack, we're gonna draw for east. Eight dot. That other chi a long time ago was better. <laughs> well, let's draw for south. Oh, no, that's not helpful. And it's in their discard pile. We're gonna discard it and avoid Furiton. Let's draw for west. Oh wait, Roan. Oh my gosh, I almost messed that up. Roan. Oh, let's see, it would be this. Roan. So we're gonna put that there. There's their pair. Oh wait. Chi, pair. Pone of East. Chi. And another Chi. One, two, three, four blocks and a pair, four sets and a pair. It's a mixture, pones and cheese and mixed suits. So it's gonna be low score. It's gonna be two Han and that's all they get. So we would have to count mini points here. Anything under Mangan, you have to count mini points. So this is only two Han. These are the mini points right here. This table, it's called a food table. There's a link below the video so you can download that. So pone of simples, no. Pone of terminals and honors, yes. Exposed, four. So this is worth four points, four points. We don't have any cons, which is a four of a kind, no pair of dragon. We were ready on an edge or a side weight. We were waiting on a side weight. Uh, let's see. So we get 20 points just for winning. That's 24 rounded up is 30 with two Han. This is the dealer. 32 Han. So this player, let's see here, south through it, 2,900 is what they would owe. I would just have them pay that and give them change. So they would get they would get one of these back.
Let me know what you thought about that solitaire game. I think it's great practice. It's helped me learn all the Yaku, and I think it helps me sort of get my footing, especially when I get my drawn tiles and try to pick a direction to go. And then of course I stay flexible while I'm picking and discarding and consider what's being discarded, what's being exposed, and change my plan accordingly. Because you always wanna be improving the shape of your hand and try to win before anybody else. Even though East had a very low score, they're the only ones who got paid. So any win is a good win. There's no shame in a low score. I have to remind myself of that because I tend to be a greedy player. What about you? Do you play high score hands or do you play any win? Even if it's one Yaku, even if it's reach alone. I, I kind of forget about that sometimes because I always want to stack, I want to stack Yaku. I want to have lots of Yaku and that takes time. And usually I'm kind of trailing behind because I'm trying to stack Yaku. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, and that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.